All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, June the 3rd. Had a great little tasting last night up at Cafe Max. The Foster's Group, Australian wines, Penfolds and Rosemount, little Coldstream Hills thrown in there. Just six people. Uh, very intimate, we'll call that. Uh, just up at the bar. Eh, you know, in some ways, those are some of my favorite tastings that we do. When we have a small group of people, uh, I work better, and I don't have to work quite as hard. And uh, so that was a nice event. Tomorrow night, we've got uh, some vintage Australian wines we'll be doing in the store here. We do have a few seats left for that if anybody is thirsty tomorrow night. Come out, give us a call, and check out the complete lineup on the website today. And what am I trying to sell you today? Well, every year around this time, we get uh, our allocation of Domaine de la Romani Conti, one of the blue chips of Burgundy, the most expensive wine re on release, the Romana Conti, their famed vineyard. They produce about 450 cases of this wine. Unfortunately, we're not on the allocation list for the 07. 07, not looking like a great vintage for the Reds, a fantastic vintage for the Whites. Uh, when the growing se season opened up, it looked like it was so hot, it looked like it could be a repeat of 2003. But 2007 turned out some very charming and forward Reds. As a matter of fact, I've had some exceptional Reds from 2007, but not really the case for most of the wines. However, we are talking about the greatest red wine produced in Burgundy. The Domaine de Romanicanti produces five Grand Cru wines. That's all they produce. Oh, I'm sorry. In 1999, they started making a little Von Romanet uh, village wine. But uh, I don't even know if they made that in 07. We, we didn't get any on our allocation. We've got three wines from 07 we're offering you. Uh, Echuzo, uh, Grand Echuzo, and Romane saint Vivant. Uh, the winery also produces Latache, which is a monopole. A monopole means they're the only producer uh, that produces this wine. They own the entire Grand Cru of Latache. Romanicanti is another vineyard that they own the entire Grand Cru of. Uh, Richborg, the other crew that we do not have on this offer. Uh, there are several people that do make Richborg, Domaine de la Romanicanti, one of the most sought after. We happen to have a three liter bottle of the 1979 Richborg sitting in our warehouse. We figured we'd bring it out to get a few pictures of this puppy. A real uh, collectible, when you look at three liter bottles of wines like Domaine de Romanicanti from a great vintage like 79 that are in this kind of shape, uh, they're really priceless. But we do have some other great old vintages on this offer, including the 2000 Latash, which 2000 Latash is drinking incredible right now. If you want an out of body drinking, body drinking experience for Burgundy, this wine's a little expensive. I think it's $1,350 a bottle. But the 2000 vintage, we showed all the wines from 2000. Uh, well, we did show the Romana Conti as well at our Romana Conti event a year ago, but at the Great Wine Seminar, that was one of the vintage we showed. And we also showed 99. We also showed 96 and 90. And the 2000s were probably drinking the best. It is a vintage that is just spot on right now from Burgundy. And the great wines are going to last a little longer, but uh, if you want, like I said, a great drinking experience from Burgundy, the 2000 vintage is it. We also have a mixed case of 1990, one of the ultimate blue chips, and a mixed case of 93 on this offering. So check it out, everything we've got from Domaine de Romanicanti. On today's offering, I'm your host, Andrew Lampazone, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.